What's up with Sky Baller? That's he locked up, do. man. He locked up. Oh, he locked dude. up. He doing a little, he do a little stretch. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, man, I gotta ask you, man. What's what's? What, I mean, I know you want a whole nother. Like you said, you talking NBA numbers and uh, getting offers and things. But um, you kind of tasted some some mainstream success with the pack. Um, is there ever gonna? Is you ever gonna go back to that route where y'all get back together and? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Um, you know what's crazy is that we just been having to take a little time on some grown men and you know do things because you know we was young and like we was really we was really in the industry and like we was really like you know like in that peak, you know what I'm saying, and in that zone like just making hits and we was crazy though. You feel me? Like especially like with the high street movement and like niggas was really going dumb. That's why like I don't think. You know what I'm saying? High feet was is deeper and like you know what I'm saying, like niggas really out there with guns and the scrapers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying us, but I'm saying wherever we was at, and shit, it might have been us because my niggas had things. <laughs> shit, we was guns and the scraper, wilding out at the party, playing our music, you feel me? Not getting denied, you feel me? So it was like, you know, we and, and also we was good people though, like we was having fun, we was you know what I'm saying, squares too. My niggas skateboarded. Uh, my nigga, uh, young stunner Keith, he skateboarded. My uh, brother, young Neil, skateboarded. H highly fashionable, and um, the legend and the genius with the beat. And um, my brother Uno, little Uno was a great artist, a great rapper, a great promoter. He helped us so much with getting the word out. You know, all the girls loved him and liked him. You know what I'm saying? And I always was looking at him. And uh, you know, me, I always was putting that music together, and I was spitting. And I was definitely felt like I was a big backbone of the group too, and um, you know, so definitely we just had to get up, grow up a little bit too, because like the thing is, we got into the game and it was like we 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 was grinding hella hard, but we didn't know it, and as well as that, we didn't understand the opportunity that we really had, because we were so we were thugging, you know what I'm saying, niggas thugging, and we was making good music, and the music that was ahead of its time, like you see the music that we made now, niggas are. That sound is back. It, it's back. But y'all was doing it then. Back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's real big. And I want to definitely give a shout out to, like, the Diligent. Uh, shout out to Jay Hamp for Kids Still Pushing. P Lo, Keep Pushing, Brother. Congratulations for the day. Uh, like I said, I am Sue Cool John. Salute to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's a lot of different people that's really, you know, salty from Richmond. You know what I'm saying? Dude from the street. You know what I'm saying? That's why I respect him because I, you know, I see him in the streets getting it before anything. That's why I hopped on something. You know what I'm saying? Because then I was like, oh, then I seen him rapping. You feel me? But like that one dude before rap, I seen him in the streets big. He, he was already riding, you know what I'm saying, 24, 26 when I seen him. You know what I'm saying? So... And this was before I was dealing with money, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, niggas don't understand I was famous, but I wasn't rich. I was still in the streets, but I was famous. But I was in the hood, too. I was right in Richmond, but I was on TV. I was in the hood still. Niggas didn't know that, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was still in the hood. That's why niggas, when niggas was going bad on me and shit, but niggas was turning fake on me, niggas was, oh, let me get some cheese, B. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, what you gonna want? That's cool with me. I see how real niggas is. Cause ain't hey, shit really changed with me. I'm still, niggas was still trying to get the fact. And I, and that's money, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was still trying to get that bag of money and niggas was fun on me. And this was when I was young, but a nigga, a kid, niggas was fun on me. Now I'm older, I see what it is. Now niggas don't call me for shit. Niggas don't call me unless it's business. I got my people that call me though that love me. But motherfuckers don't call me unless they see me doing something and I'm hot. Other than that, they already know. I don't expect nothing from nobody either. But I, I, I expect that check. Cause I work hard in, the, in my family. You know what I'm saying? And, and love. But at the end of the day, niggas don't call me. You know what I'm saying? But. You've known to stay busy. I mean, you've released over, you know, between albums and mixtapes, about 40, 50 things, and, and not to mention what you probably sitting on that's unreleased. But I want to talk a little bit about this documentary, man, you got, uh, I've seen online. 
that you got in the works supposed to be releasing this year, later this year, in the year. Um, what, 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 what is that? Is it, is it a documentary? Um, is it a what, what, what type of uh content can we expect? It's definitely been like a documentary. Um, you know, it's gonna be very, uh, you know, it's gonna be real high quality. The thing is, I've just been kind of sitting and waiting. We're gonna be negotiating and talking to it. You know, a few uh, big companies are showing real interest as well from online places. Uh, so, you know, I'm kind of just getting that, you know, stuff together. I'm kind of, you know, I got some people that I really work real closely with that's in my team that are handling that movie. So I'm kind of, you know, letting them with my blessings handle that. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about it once the money, you know what I'm saying? Once the, you know, once the money get back on. Because my, my part's here, so now it's just about that check. Yeah, getting to the personal yeah. side of, of Lil B. Yeah, it's gonna be real. I mean, you know, it, it's been like they got. It's been everything. It's been everything till now, and um, you know, so it's gonna be real special. Like you know, everything like me in the hood. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, that's it's gonna really inspire. But um, you know, I got a. Uh, I'm gonna definitely be working on like. You know, moving myself, you know, like Carnival and Lil B, you know, I'm definitely going to be uh, doing like a little beat that I'm going to be handling. Mm. And um, I got some other stuff in the works like that, like this uh, film scoring where I have the bass guy. I'm going to be working with the bass guy and uh, to produce some film score music and uh, some score behind some big films and uh, some big movies that I'm going to get some executive producing in and I uh, get my hands in so you know people definitely are uh, waiting for that and I'm definitely you know excited about that but yeah people need to understand too man like you know just just keep loving me and supporting me you know I never like I, I really you know I haven't dropped any albums you know all mixtapes um you know I only was a part of two albums that I actually put on iTunes which are the bass guys and um that's what I was executive producing on. And these are New Age ambient albums um, that actually, my first one, Choices and Flowers, it went to number six on the Billboard, uh, New Age. Number one was Yanni, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my second one, it didn't hit Billboard, but it was a huge success um, on the underground and with, you know, the, the big thinkers. Like I said, I'm, you know, performing in museums. And I'm speaking at school, so you know it's hitting the right people. But um, the so yeah, now I'm just continuing, continuously working on that. You know, just figuring out, um, slowing down on a few things, but also just going to finish this, finish this work, figuring out who I'm gonna pair up with. Um, you know, uh, business wise, you know, just see, just see like, see like that, keep my options open. But yeah definitely unsigned, you know, never signed a deal to this day. Haven't had any help, you know what I'm saying? Like, did my, you know, my whole career, you know, I've handled Lil B's whole career, and it's been calculated, and, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, I can take credit for that. I take credit for Lil B. You man, know? I gotta, I gotta applaud you for that, too, man. I'm reading up on some stuff, you know, just, you know, how you your whole thing, like you said, you it's been all you, you know, from the MySpace time to now, just building that awareness and, and getting to the point where you at, man, you know, that's an inspiration for a lot, should be an inspiration for a lot of artists, man, you know, work, it's work, and now you're building a brand, you know, it's more than music now, it's definitely more than music, that's that's a good thing, I see you, you, you like you've been mentioning throughout the interview, these college lectures, man, how did that even come about? Where they just like we we, we got to get little B here on campus, man, and let him talk to the to the students. You know, it's, it's a blessing. You know, I got my I got an email. You know, I put my email out there, and um, you know, these colleges inquired. You know, they hit me up on email. They say, you know, the students really want to see me, and that they, you know, the, the, you know, got to get approved by the school first too. You know, and um, so if it gets approved by the school and the students, you know, and everything works, you know what I'm saying, and our budget and everything is cool, 
I definitely, you know, that's how it can happen. You know, all you got to do is you definitely hit me up and send your inquiry. And um, I got my right-hand man that I work with, like I said, but I ain't got no booking agent. So it's, this is real homemade. Like, you know, just send me the email. I got my right hand. And, you know, we handle that business. And, like, if, you know, like I said, if the budget right and I respect, if I respect everything that's going on, and the budget's correct, I think, you know, something can happen with getting a little beat down. But, um, yeah, that's really how it happened, you know. Um, my first my first lecture was at Virginia Tech. It was a huge success. I mean, excuse me, uh, my first one was at NYU, and that was in New York. That was a huge success, and um, that was, like, really the start of the ball. And then you see Riverside inquired for me to lecture up there and that was a huge success and, and, and a beautiful school and staff and students and I want to say NYU and thank the staff and the students and everybody that let me become a part of history there and bring more love and um, just keep bringing what I bring to that school. You know, people's lives have been changed um, from my talks and my lectures and just saying how I feel and, and what I really want to say. So, you know, I want to thank all the people that were part of that. And my most recent lecture was at Virginia Tech, which was a huge success. And, um, you know, all of them just sold out. So all the lectures have been sold out. And you already know there's hundreds of people. Um, you know, some is even 600, maybe like 700, something like that. Or, um, you know. So, it... Just um, recently, you know, with the Virginia Tech one, you know, that was huge success, and that was just super. It was a blessing. Just, you know, being able, it's, it's great to be accepted. You know, I didn't go. I was very honest with them. Um, you know, just telling them about how much I love people and, and, and my motivation, but as well as telling them about my stories and my struggles. Some things, some things like what I share with you guys on the sickness of my downtime of me, you know, having that. Go. And I didn't have to share that with them, too. And that's why it was way more special, you know, to me. And I really, that was like a, that was a moment in history for hip-hop, the world, and all of us. For Because that shows, like, you know, a guy that didn't go to college, um, but that works daily and has been working every day, you know, probably since I was 12, um, unconsciously, you know what I'm saying, back then unconsciously, but now, you know, and, you know, just working, being, being, being you know, gotten, gotten a little bit of trouble, faced adversity, 